If you've never been to the Sight and Sound Theater in Branson, you are missing out. It is truly a sight to behold. We're here with the general manager, Cynthia Carson. Cynthia, first of all, thank you so much for having us. I feel like we're behind the curtain now. Like oh, we are. We shouldn't be here right now, but we're allowed. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> it is so exciting. So be the general manager, can you tell us about Sight and, Theater, Sight and Sound Theaters and how it got started? Oh, absolutely. It's such a joy. You know, when we do what we believe God has called us to do, big things can happen. So there was a, a man, a, a young man in his 17, gets married. All of a sudden he's an artist, you know, he was an artist and he started sh taking pictures and painting. That's how it got started. Because people, through his art, he decided like to start showing this amazing artwork and photography that he was doing in a little theater in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. And before he knew it, God had called him to put get his own theater. And through, they were doing more like review style productions, but before we knew it, then um, he opened up a bigger theater. Mm -hmm. So in, in 1976 is when Living Waters opened up and they started, you know, doing these shows. But later in the early 90s, they actually built a bigger theater, pretty much like this, or a little bit different, I should say. But as time went on, it just kept growing. So you, I keep thinking about like skills that each of us have when Glenn Eshelman did that and opened up his heart to do what his dream and his creativity was allowing him to do, it now opened up where we have almost, or over 800 some employees company-wide that work in two different theaters, one in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, and ours here. So here in Branson, we opened up in May of 2008, and I just think that was just yesterday. Yeah. But I'm going like, we're in our 17th season of shows, so it's pretty exciting to that see what, what's happened here in Branson. Absolutely, and as you can see, I mean, it takes an army of people, an, uh, an amazing team. So can you tell us a little bit more about the team here in Branson? How many people, what is everyone working on? Yes, so we have over 300 employees here in Branson, and what is exciting is like each person that comes here, they have their own special skills and, and they get to do what they're good at doing, right? And that's it, whether it's cast or whether our shop crew. Now we have a shop, as you see the big beautiful sets, our shop doesn't build all of this, but they are part of the whole team that builds sets um, for all of our shows in both locations. So it's unlike even our shop here, they'll be, they're building for the next show that's gonna be happening in Pennsylvania. They're building set pieces then they come take them apart put them on semi trucks send them back and then they open up and perform out there but you'll have ushers here obviously we have our full retail teams all the way up to our marketing team that's here in this town can you tell me about the production because you know growing up going to church and hearing Bible stories. These are all Bible stories that are original musicals. Tell us the process to get this production up and going and becoming what it is. It takes over three and a half years to produce any of our shows. That is incredible when you think about, okay, we 99 Point nine, I'm going to say, it's maybe not that, but all work is done in-house. From concept of the shows, to writing the music, to creating all the beautiful costumes and designs, um, scripts, everything's all done in-house. So it takes three and a half years. Um, our production team is actually in Pennsylvania, um, but we do have teams here that help do part of that work from costume design, or not necessarily design, but build. Mm -hmm. So Branson here, we're what we call an operational theater. So a lot of times, a lot of, most of it's done and it's given to us, and then we get to move on you know, with it. Cynthia, I, have, I could talk to you all day. Yeah. We could talk to you all day. But, you know, Queen Esther is playing now. And can you tell us through uh, how long will it be showing? Yes, it'll be here until October, the first part of October. And then we actually, for this year, we'll be shutting down. We're only opened until the 5th of October, I believe it is. And um, then what we'll shut down and we have to tear this whole big beautiful set off. And then we get to put up our, new, our next set, Miracle of Christmas. And that will then play in November and December. That's amazing. Now, before we wrap up, can you give us a tease? Because there's a new show coming in uh, next year. Are you allowed to talk about it yet or not? Oh, we are definitely allowed to talk about it. And tickets are on sale now for it. And I advise book early. Um, but David is coming. And how many of us grew up, right, knowing the story of David and Goliath and all that? 
you guys do not want to miss this. This show is powerful. But I think the biggest thing is the heart of the stories and how we can really bring those hearts of the stories out and bring them alive for people. This one, David, coming up in March of 25, you won't want to miss. That's funny because oh. they used to call my brother and I. I was David, he was Goliath, and it was <laughs> that kind of story. There yeah. you go. There you go. <laughs> Cynthia, for our viewers, where can they go to secure those tickets right now? Yes, please go to site-sound.com and you can see all the information that you need and actually purchase your tickets right online. Thank you so much, Cynthia. So great to visit with you. Thank you, Maddie and Jeremy. It was so good to see you guys. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. You guys, it is a sight to be seen. Like, Jeremy and I were kids in a candy store. Just being there. No, no actors on stage, no performers, and we were just like, the, the set design, phenomenal. Oh, like, my gosh. Oh, it's, I could spend hours there. It's like you're in... There, it's like a theater in the round because it's all around you in golf shoe. And if you've been there to see the other shows, you kind of understand what they do. And I'm very excited about David because what a great uh, Bible story. Here's what I'm intrigued to know. How are they going to create Goliath the giant on stage? That's what I'm curious about. Well, as you saw, they have horses, donkeys, parrots, elephants. Mm -hmm. So, you know, basically they're going to make it happen. They're really going to bring it yeah. to life. So. And if you go to Branson, see the show. All the performers are nice. We actually have a, another segment coming up where we got to interview some of the uh, stars of that show who were so kind and so nice and love this show. It's one of their favorites, they said. Yes. So you got to see it before the end of the year, before they start their Christmas season, because after that, they're bringing in the new show. Mm -hmm. And all the shows are amazing. And, of course, the live animals. Yes. Who doesn't love that? Well, I just, I love when you're when you're at a theatrical performance and they're coming down the, the aisle you know mm -hmm. so it's not just looking at yeah. them they're it's, really it engulfs you engulfs you thank it you. engulfs you <laughs> all right guys check that out sight and sound theater in branson don't go anywhere we're making a cherry cheesecake dip perfect for the fourth of july right after this